When you're new to video, it's easy to think that editing is merely cutting out the mistakes that you made while filming your video. But when you do this, the mistakes actually become way more obvious in your video. And that's because you'll be talking, you'll mess up, you'll cut out the gap of where you were just talking. Now you're in a new location and the edit looks choppy, messy, absolutely amateur. Watching back your edit triggers self-deprecation where you cut yourself down for not being able to do it in one take and it can very quickly start to feel hopeless that you'll never figure out this video thing. Well, I've got news for you, my friend. You do not need to record your videos in one take. In fact, you can mess up as many times as needed. The trick is being able to cut together multiple takes into one video seamlessly. So in this video, I'm going to reveal all of my secrets for how to do that so that you can hide your jump cuts and create a video that looks absolutely professional in an effortless manner. I'm Amanda Horvath and I help eliminate the obstacles to getting you sitting where I'm sitting right now, in front of the camera, sharing your message with the world. So if you're ready to step in front of the lens and have fun doing it, be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Now before we dive into my tips today, I wanna to point out that I'm honing in on how to hide multiple takes using one camera. Because if you have two cameras, it's actually a lot easier to hide your takes because you can be talking to one camera and then suddenly you switch to the second camera and no one knows that there was an edit there because it was seamless. And now you're back talking to this camera again, right? So specifically in this video, I wanna show you how to hide multiple takes when you are only using one camera camera. Tip number one is to crop in and out on your videos. If you've watched any of my videos or even just watching this one, you've seen me do this multiple times throughout this video. I've talked about this many times in the past as well on this channel, but today I have an even easier tool to give you that is going to automatically crop in and out on your videos and save you a ton of time. And that tool is called Time Bolt. I've previously talked about this tool on this channel where where it is going to scan your video and find all of the dead space between your words and cut them out. Generally speaking, this would create a ton of jump cuts in your video, but if you use this new feature of Time Bolt, you can then crop in and out on those takes in order to hide those edits. Pew! Absolutely amazing, is it not? If you want to get your hands on this tool, then I will link to my affiliate link with a discount code in the description below. Tip two is to add B-roll to your shot. So let's say I'm talking about the behind the scenes of how I film this video. And I might be mentioning what kind of lights I'm using, what kind of camera I'm using, what the set looks like. And as I'm saying that, you are actually seeing the things that I am saying on the screen. That is one way that you can hide mistakes. So let's say I was recording that sentence and I said, you're seeing what camera you're using. And then I stopped and then I kind of thought about what do I wanna say next? And I say, you're seeing what lights you're using. And I can just cut those sentences together and hide that edit by sh using those clips above what it is that I'm saying. Make sense? So the reason that it's called B-roll is because you have your A-roll footage, which is the talking head portion, with that footage over top of it, which is the B-roll. So you're switching from A to B and back again. So I just wanted to give you some context of why it's called B-roll so that you can remember that tip. Now in terms of how to get B-roll to use in your videos, you can either shoot it yourself like I just showed you in the example, or you can use artgrid.io, which is my favorite stock footage website. They have unlimited downloads on there and it is very high quality footage that is going to up the production value of your video, even if you're just shooting on your phone. Once again, I will link to my affiliate link as well as a discount code in the description below should you wish to join Artgrid. The third tip that I have for you is to add graphics. And the way that I recommend going about this is to think strategically about where you could add graphics in your script that would allow you to do multiple takes in chunks of your script rather than doing the entire thing in one go. Let me explain. So you're going to record the intro of your video as many times as you need in order to get it in one take or in multiple takes cut together using that crop in and crop out feature. Then whenever you've nailed that, you don't have to worry about a jump cut 
go, cutting to that next section because you have a full screen graphic that is going to transition between those two clips. So you do your intro, there's a full screen transition that comes on, and now you're in your next clip. Now, in order to create these transitions, you can either purchase a pre-made package that is on my website, or you can go ahead and create your own by following the step-by-step -step tutorial that I have linked in the description below, as well as in the cards. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm all about eliminating obstacles to you getting in front of the camera and making this happen for yourself. So this channel is packed with tons of different resources to get you up and running. So once again, if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to do so. So hopefully you feel a weight off your shoulders that you do not have to record your video all in one take and you do not have to have jump cuts in your video when you're using these three tips. If this video is helpful, please be sure to click like and drop your comments below letting me know. It really helps the algorithm and get this out to more people to get their message out into the world. And if you'd like to keep learning and sharpening your video skills, then I have linked to several helpful videos on the screen for you here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.